Hello everyone, we'll start with a new topic, anthrax. Anthrax is caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. Okay, the bacteria name is Bacillus anthracis. And the Bacillus anthracis word is derived from the Greek word called as anthracasis, which translates into coal because it causes dark coal-like structure on affected areas. Okay, wherever this effect, this anthrax affects, the area will be dark in color that is coal like structure anthrax is considered to be the first germ discovered to cause disease in humans this is the first microbes which uh, <coughs> they identified that it affects the humans it was used as the model for coach postulate you have studied coach postulate so it was the model anthrax so there are three types of anthrax infection those are uh, that occurs through inhalation, gastrointestinal and cutaneous. When we see the inhalation, it was associated with wool store sorters at industrial mills uh, because wool is an uh, animal product. If the animal contains the anthrax, then the person who works with that will get the infection. So the clinical manifestation includes fever, Myalgia, there will be muscle pain, uh, difficulty breathing called uh, dyspnea, cough, headache, vomiting, chills, abdominal pain will be there and the chest pain. These are the manifestation of uh, inhalation. Again, diaphoresis will be there, increased the sweating and the bluish discoloration of the mucous membranes and the nail buds called uh, cyanosis and thoracic lymphadenitis. Okay, uh, the lymph nodes which are present in the thoracic area, uh, there will be an infection. It kills up to 80% of infected individuals within 2 to 4 days. It is 99% lethal in unvaccinated individuals. If you have not get vaccination uh, for the anthrax, if you get the infection from this, then you will die within 2 to 4 days. That is 80% chances. Let's come into the gastrointestinal anthrax. It is associated with undercooked contaminated meat. If the uh, animal product such as meat, if it is infected and you consume, uh, that is undercooked, and then again you may get the infection. And the manifestation uh, will appear within 2 to 5 days after ingestion. And the manifestation includes nausea, abdominal pain, vomiting. It may contain the blood in the malaise, bloody diarrhea, acute abdomen that is abdominal pain, colic like uh, pain will be there and sepsis and the ascites that is the water, the collection of fluid in the peritoneal cavity. So the mortality rate are high in gastrointestinal anthrax because of difficulty of early diagnosis. Intestinal perforation or anthrax toxemia are the usual cause of death. The morbidity is due to blood loss, electrolyte imbalance and subsequent shock. Okay? This is very difficult to identify. So, the death rate may go uh, above than other types. Okay? There may be intestinal perforation or anthrax toxemia. Let's move into the cutaneous anthrax. When cuts or breaks in the skin is exposed to anthrax infected animals. Okay? If you have the cuts or injuries in your uh, hands or the in your body, and if it gets exposed to the anthrax that, uh, organism, then you may get infected. And the clinic, clinical manifestation may include macular or papillar skin lesions, vesicles which discharge clear or serosanguineous fluid, that is vesicles are like small elevations over the skin and it may discharge the fluid which is clear or serosanguineous in color. Painless black eschers will be there over your skin and painful lymphadenopathy may be seen. So, now how you can prevent this or how you can control by giving some treatment? Therapy is efficacious if initiated during the incubation period. The disease progresses rapidly once its symptoms are recognized. Okay? Within incubation period, you have to get the vaccination or the treatment. If you are not taken, then with, if the symptom starts showing, then it may go rapidly. This is may progress rapidly. So the pharmacological therapy that is treatment includes 
penicillin V can be given for 200 to 400 mg orally for 4 times per day and for the children it is around 20 to 50 mg per kg of body weight the day orally in divided doses 2 to 4 times a day okay. and penicillin G can be given 8 million to 12 million uh, total intravenously in 4 to 6 hours <coughs> And for the children, it is 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50,000 units per kg per day in divided doses every 4 to 6 hours. Next one is streptomycin. It is 30 mg per kg given IM or IV per day. And for the children, we are not giving this. Again, tetracycline game may we can give. That is 250 to 500 mg. For children, we are not giving. Doxycycline again it is 200 mg oral it is uh, not given for the children and erythromycin 250 mg oral and for the children 40 mg per kg per day erythromycin lactobionate it's a combined uh, treatment it's given 15 to 20 mg per kg intravenously and for children 20 to 40 mg per kg per day Again, we are giving chloramphenicol for 50 to 100 mg per kg for children, 50 to 75 mg per kg per day. And ciprofloxacin, 250 to 750 mg orally twice a day and for children, 20 to 30 mg per kg. Those are the, the treatment and again prophylaxis treatment for adult only we are giving that is doxycycline, 100 mg orally twice a day for 4 weeks. And ciprofloxacin, we are giving 500 mg orally twice a day for 4 weeks. And corticosteroid therapy will be given if there is a severe edema. That says dexamethasone can be given. That is 0 0.75 to 0 0.90 mg per kg per day. Can be given in orally, intravenously or intramuscularly. So children, 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 mg per kg every 6 hour can be given. Here, ciprofloxacin and other fluoroquinolones are linked to permanent and transient arthropathy in adolescent animals and children. Therefore, should not be used in children younger than 18 years old. Okay? We are not giving ciprofloxacin uh, and other fluoroquinolones because it may be linked to the permanent and transient arthropathy. There will be a problem to the joint. And uh, vaccination can be given. It consists of 6 initial doses that is at 0 week, 2nd week and 4th weeks and again 6, 12th and 18 months followed by a yearly booster. Okay? This is the doses we are giving for the vaccination. That is all about the anthrax. We will see in the next class. Thank you.